You see, Travis was a corporal in the United States Marines. He was, as they say, one of the best of the best. He was full of life, handsome, daring, and willing to take on one of the most challenging duties, that of clearing landmines and unexploded ordinances after the mission had been accomplished in Iraq. Uh, I begged him to change his mind, to please tell his commanding officer that he'd reconsidered and that he would be going home. His reply was, Mama, you are safe. I know what I'm doing, and I cannot leave my buddies behind to clear up this stuff. I need to be there. I need to make sure that nothing happens to any of them. All his buddies did come home. Everyone was safe and sound, but not my beautiful Travis. And on July 2nd of 2003, Travis was killed while helping to clear a farmer's field of US cluster bombs. I somehow planned my son's funeral and took great care in planning every detail. I realized that this would be the last great celebration of his life. There would be no college graduation. There would be no wedding. There would be no children. This funeral, the darkest of all events, was all that I was to have. As you can see, this is not a path that anyone should be joining me on. However, I am here. And because I am here, I beg you, please, take just a few minutes of your life to help in banning the manufacture, the stockpiling, and most of all, the use of this barbaric weapon. As a people, as a country, we are so much better than this. Please help me celebrate my son's life by saving others. Thank you.